Here is another wedge pulley system we are going to analyze. Here again we are given that all surfaces in the system shown are smooth. We are required to find the acceleration of these blocks if block A is of mass 10 kg and B is of mass 5 kg, which is resting on the inclined surface of A and when the system is released. We can analyze the accelerations first and draw a free body diagram as we are doing in other illustrations. So, here you can see in this figure we distribute the tension. So, as this is a single string everywhere, the tension in a string will be common. And if a normal reaction on block A is N1 in upward direction and N2 is between block A and B, it will be acting normal to the surface. So, here if we draw the free body diagram of A, then we can see it will experience a weight in downward direction that is 10 g. Towards right, it will experience a force. This is tension T which is acting on block A. So, this is 2 T and in the direction along the incline due to this tension, it will experience another force T, which is acting at an angle theta with the horizontal. Here, N1 normal reaction is acting on it in upward direction, and N2 normal reaction is acting on it in the direction normal to the incline at this angle theta. And if we assume this block is moving toward right with acceleration A. Then the distance by which block A will be displaced, these two strings will get shortened by the same distance. So, this will slide by twice the distance along the incline. So, we can say block B will accelerate with acceleration 2A relative to the wedge block. So, here we can see if it is accelerating toward right with acceleration A, and we can draw the free body diagram of block B. And we draw it relative to block A. So, here it is experiencing mg in downward direction, its mass is 5 kg. So, this can be written as 5 g. And as we are drawing its free body diagram relative to A reference lines, we take along and normal to the inclined surface. So, here it is experiencing one normal reaction and two here. A tension due to a string is here, and as A is moving toward right with an acceleration A, it will experiencing a it will experience a pseudo force M A toward left, and this angle would be theta, and here this angle is also theta, and this would be accelerating with acceleration two A relative to the wedge block. Now, if we write the equations of motion for motion of these two blocks, then for block A here we can write as it is moving toward right, we can write its motion equation as 2 t plus t cos theta minus the component of normal reaction which is n 2 sin theta acting on it is equals to its mass and acceleration. So, its mass is 10 kg. So, here we can write it 10 a that is say our equation 1. And as it is not moving vertically, we don't need to write the vertical equation of motion for A. And for B here, we can see as it is sliding down the incline with respect to block A at acceleration 2A. So, its equation we can write this is 5g sin theta minus t minus ma cos theta, and the mass we can take as 5 is equal to its mass is 5 and acceleration is 2 a, we can write 5 multiplied by 2 a, that is our second equation of motion. And in normal direction to the inclined surface B is not moving, so we can balance the forces. So, here we can write the value of N2 is equals to 5 g cos theta plus this pseudo force is 5 a as its mass is 5 kilogram. So, this can be written as 5 a sin theta. This is our equation 3. Now, solving these three equations, we can directly get the value of acceleration 
for block A it is moving towards right with acceleration A, for block B it is having both the accelerations. So, we need to calculate the vector sum of both of these accelerations. So, here we can see solving 1, 2 and 3 we get the value of acceleration as the final value will get us to g sin theta divided by 9 plus 5 cos theta. And here I am leaving it as an exercise for you to evaluate this result which I have already having. So, you can solve these equations and verify the value of A. Once you get the value of A, you can calculate the acceleration of block A as A and acceleration of block B as vector sum of A and 2A. So, this 2A is also having two components, one is horizontal in direction and other is vertical. So, horizontal direction acceleration will be added up. So, we can take the resultant of the two. So, this will be A plus 2A cos theta whole square plus 2A sin theta whole square and you can verify the final result that will be the final accelerations of the blocks A and B.